Come here. Oh, good job, Mel. Hi everybody and welcome to Cats and Pats. And welcome back to the, the last video I filmed right after moving in here. Um, this is actually the first week I moved in, so there's still like kind of boxes everywhere if you see those. Uh, that's why. So yeah, up to this point in this video, the litter boxes have just been like in the middle of like our house because if we didn't have a good place for them, we wanted the cats to be able to easily find them. And the idea here was to make our place nice and livable and we wanted to streamline like where the cats could go down to the litter boxes and they'd be private and away. And things would look nice. We don't have to leave doors open and stuff for them to be able to get down to the basement. Of course, since I recorded this before, you'll see a little bit more of Pornji being cute as she always was. And for those of you who aren't like regulars on this channel, I'll try to timestamp this video of like why I bought this particular door, the install process, and maybe some tips on like how to get your cat to use one. So with that, let's jump back in time to my original intro when I first moved in. We have had the litter boxes kind of like in random parts of the hallway, then kind of moved downstairs. And I, I want to get things where they're going to be, get the cats all settled away, get everything squared away and make things look good. And so yeah, today we're installing some cat doors, which I'll go in now and show you uh, kind of the setup, the situation, and we're not doing just one, we're doing two. So this should be good. So last week we just had the litter boxes like here in the hallway and there's like litter getting everywhere. It wasn't ideal, but it was central location in the house. We're done with that, we want to improve things. So we have this door in the basement, which is where we want to have our litter boxes. Right now, we have to have it cracked open so little kittens can get down there. Would you like to demonstrate, Pornji? Let's rub your chin. So, door one in the way. Now we go downstairs, and if our Pornji comes with us, hey honey, you gonna show everybody? So, as Pornji will show you, down here we have the basement and another door into like an unfinished area, which is, we can find the light switch. So this room is pretty ideal. It's like bare floor, like insulation, electrical panel. That sort of thing. I'm not worried about like guests coming in here and hanging out. Yes, honey? Apparently now it's the coolest place to be. So I figured this would be the ideal litter box location. But I don't want to leave this cracked all the time. You know, I don't want people just randomly wandering in here. I don't want to leave the basement door open all the time because they'll need to. Also, I'm not trying to pay for all that AC and cooling if I don't have to. Right, kittens? Right, Pornji? Moot, 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 what are you doing? Right now the litter boxes are temporarily in this bathroom here which oh, oh sorry to disturb Luna there are temporarily in that bathroom so yeah I ordered two cat doors from the internet um, my dad will be here in a few minutes we're gonna try and cut the little holes like we need and uh, we'll see how it goes I just realized first maybe I'll show you actually the doors I purchased which I don't have a really good place to unbox them so I'm going to unbox them here on the kitchen floor I just realized I might not have actually said the brand this is the kitty pass brand it's uh, one of the probably the top searches that come up on Amazon when you look for cat doors. But yeah, if this is something you're interested in, I'll do a link down below in the description. It'll be an affiliate link. Anything you buy through affiliate links helps cats and pats. Usually I end up buying more cat stuff, so it'll probably end up back on here anyway. You all know I'm not a big fan of unboxing. It's just in a bag, so this is easy. We have both halves of the door component here, front and back. Oh, hey, Fluke. Looks like they have some 3M things here to make sure it actually sticks to the door so you don't lose your tail, I guess. And it comes with some relatively simple instructions. It's like, take your door out, draw along the template, and cut it, and you're good to go. Fortunately, they uh, gave me a template because I don't have a printer, actually. So you might be wondering to yourself, Jason, out of all the, I don't know, hundreds or dozens or all the lots of cat doors out there, why did you pick this one? For one, as far as like looks go, I personally really liked how this one was styled with like the cat ears front and like the tail and the butt on the back. I thought that just kind of looked cool. Um, some of the doors are just, you know, simple rectangles or squares or like maybe just a blank circle. This is something that people are going to see whenever they walk into my house, so I kind of wanted it to look like not just an industrial hole in the wall. I also like the size of this one. It can uh, hold kind of bigger cats, like our big boy Moo back there. He was the one I was a little bit worried size-wise because I think Floof can probably fit into anything. Uh, the big downside about this one is it doesn't have a way to shut it. So that was one downside of this. But in my head, I just kind of thought, well, if I need to, like, I could just take the cat door, or like, say that's the door, 
and get something heavy and slide it up against there. And then the pathway is effectively closed off. So if I just have a heavy something around, I could block the pathway if I need to, which I don't have to do very often. So that's not that big of an inconvenience. But yes, with that, let's go get our doors off. There we go. Good deal. Where do I want to do this? Kitchen floor? Kitchen floor sounds good. Slide this through here. Alright. Just gonna load this door up. Right quick. Okay, so next step, I'm gonna find the center of the door here, like it says. I'm gonna mark it, and I'm probably gonna find like the center six-ish inches up. That way I can kind of line it up and make sure it's hopefully relatively straight. And uh, yeah, and then I'll get to cutting and see how that goes. Okay, that semi worked. A mechanical pencil wasn't the best thing, but I've got a pretty rough circle outline. I don't know how tight the thing actually fits in there, so I'm hoping I don't have to like sand it or rasp it or something some more, but uh, we'll see. It should be, should be good. Should be good. Okay, so lining this up, it looks pretty close. Um, I think this is slightly too big, my circle's slightly too big, but that's good because just this part has to actually fit in here. And so if I cut my circle and it's actually kind of this, circumference-ish range, uh, that's fine. It's gonna be covered up by my cat face and ears. So hopefully that will be good. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be great. So I walked away and came back and I saw that this was like split apart. I thought this was all one thing, but no, it's like a center band that fits into this ridge that fits into this ridge. So I have a little bit more flexibility. I definitely didn't realize that was like three separate things. So the more you know. Okay, it's much later in the evening, aka nighttime. <laughs> Did you stick your head in there? My parents came, we started talking, but we're getting to sawing now. Sarah, look at this. You can see the various parts of the door. Look at that. Huh, I had no idea. Oof, I think I'm gonna cut that a little too big. I'm kind of worried. Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> All right. Let us see. That looks pretty solid. Uh, maybe a little too big there. But I think if we kind of finagle it right, no one will be the wiser. That's pretty good. All right, moment of truth where I can try to line this up and stick it right the first time and not have like my hole all jacked up. Real carefully. Real carefully. About like that. This should probably come over a little bit more. Oh, too late. Maybe too late. Okay. Give that a good solid press. Okay. And now time for the butt side. So this slot has to fit on this groove and not be wrong. So we'll see. I think it's going to be close. Do we need to poke? I don't know. What's that going to mess up them? It's not much. sticking up much. I guess it matters too much. Give it a good pressy press. Slowly line it up with the groove edge and use the adhesive strips. So I did it right. Smarty over there. All right. Nice little bottom. As long as that will come out. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's see if it falls off the first time we put it back on the door. Put it on the right way? Yeah, that's right. Luna, watch your head. Oh, Luna's going down. Don't move the door. Luna, go, go. One pen. Yeah. There we go. Right. Good deal. Well, look at that kitty cat. It's adorable. Wait, where's right. the Luna went down there. Luna, sweetheart. Here comes Porgy. Luna. Oh. 
What you think? You can do it. You guys gonna kiss? What you think? Oh, oh, well, oh. There we Sorry, go. Sorry, Frenchie. Butt shot. <laughs> Good girl. Good job, honey. Mimu. Hey, Mimu. Hey, Come here. Oh. Good job, Mel. Good job, Mel. Fit okay through that? Big boy door. Okay, the next door we're just doing as a speed run. Okay, so here we are next day. We finished up the door. You just saw that speed run. Um, I hung out with my parents for a little bit. But now I've kind of moved on to do the actual setup I want to do. So first we have Liv being a cute kitten. But then inside this doorway, I have a little litter mat and another litter mat and my three litter boxes. And I may actually buy another litter mat. My idea with this is that they would use a litter box and then they would have to walk on some of this mat, especially like right here in front of the doorway. That way they wipe off their little paws so the litter doesn't stick to it, especially fluffy kittens like this one. So that's why I kind of want to get another mat. That way I can like force four to six feet of like mat walking. Hopefully all the litter will stay there, trapped in there, and I can easily shop back it up. The nice thing about this room is it's more than big enough, so I have like my little box that can hold my pooper scooper trays here. This is where we keep our litter in this tub. Um, so I have space for that, and everything's kind of contained in one area. So none of that will be hanging out and like exposed and just like, you know, in the way and annoying. Litter boxes are in there now. I'm gonna shut this door. Shut the upstairs door, uh, wait a while, a day or something, and hopefully the cats are using the litter box and I don't find any surprises on the floor. But they're smart, they've already ran through the doors a couple times, so, and uh, yeah, we'll see how they do. All right, it's the next day, just got home from work. Uh, the kitty's been following me around because I just got back. Oh, Luna just went in here. But let's see, uh, let's see how this worked. Oh, real lovely to look at, but looks like they figured it out. Managed to navigate the doors. Good! <laughs> Poop! Yay! But no, uh, good job kittens. Oh, sorry Luna. Doing our thing. So the cat doors, I'm more than pleased. The cats took to them, like, immediately. You saw that first clip? Like, they were up for a minute, and all of a sudden somebody just like, Boop! I'll pop through here. No problem. I was a little worried, especially maybe with, like, Pornji, who doesn't like tight spaces, that there might be, like, some hesitancy. But since there was no, like, door flap to push through, she just went, Phew! right through, no problem. The install process wasn't too, too bad. You have to have some sort of saw that you can actually use on your door. You have to have a wood door. I mean, I guess you could do a metal one if you're like that into that. That seems like a lot. The only kind of hard part was like following that paper stencil wasn't the best, I didn't think. I think maybe just use like the outside edge of uh, your door and use that to kind of trace your mark and then cut along that outside edge with your saw. That might work a little easier. Also, I wasn't really that experienced with the jigsaw, so like trying to cut a nice circle was a little difficult. Luckily, with this door at least, that doesn't really matter too much because you have that buffer space of, you know, a half inch on the outside that can kind of cover up any mistakes you have. But I love the look of the doors. I like the cat ears and the cat tail and everything. I think that's a nice design. But yeah, this is nice now. I can have that like hallway door shut and not be like, even partially open, it's still kind of annoying. You have the doorknob sticking out. Now it's just like a smooth, sealed thing and a kitty cat door. I think if you have a door and you have any trouble with your cats going through, you can try to do a couple different things. You can try to get it on the other side and kind of call to them. If they really like treats like Mumu does, you could put some on like the opposite side and see if that's enough to lure them through. And remember, it might take time. Some cats are more skittish than others. They kind of don't trust new things until they can get used to it for a little while. My parents had a cat door that not all the cats got used to immediately. They also had one with a flap and that's a little different because the cats actually have to learn to like push through that opening. Which you can try to do some things to assist with that. like prop that little flap open or like when they're close to it kind of show them that it opens up 
maybe put those treats on that other side and they'll be lured forward and kind of learn like, oh, I can get through this area, it's not bad. But yeah, have you had any experience with cat doors? Have you tried other ones that you really like or really dislike? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, I'll link the door that I bought down below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.